Hello everyone, we will continue the topic database operations and in the previous video, we took total nine parameters, five belongs to order header table and we created four radio buttons for the insert, update, delete and modify. Now we will firstly start with our first database operation that is insert insert we will insert a record to order header table suppose i'm running the program now whatever the order number order date payment mode total amount and currency you will pass an insert radio button is ticked we will insert a record to database table. Whenever first radio button is ticked, and in the previous video, we checked in the debugging mode, whenever a radio button is ticked, value will be capital X. So I will remove this dummy logic. I will write, if first radio button is capital X. Now in this if condition, we will write a logic to insert the record to database table means order header table. I will write a comment here also. This particular condition is for insert. I will activate the program. Now, firstly, we will learn the syntax of insert database operation and then we will write the logic for the same. To insert a record to database table, what is the syntax? The keyword is insert. Whenever we want to insert a record to database table, the keyword is insert. After that, you need to give the name of the database table in which database table you want to insert the record. Then we will give from. Now, after from, you can give the name of the work area or name of the internal table. If you are going for single record, you can go for name of the work area. Means if you are inserting a single record to database table, you can simply write insert database table from work area. If you want to insert multiple records, then you can go by this also insert database table from table from table name of the internal table. So it's your wish. Yes. If you are going for multiple record insertion, you can pass the multiple records to this internal table. From the internal table, those records will go to this database table. Now, if you are going for single record insertion, you can pass the single record to the work area and that record will go to this database table. Now we will go for extremely, extremely important point here because based upon that only we can proceed with the practical part. Whenever you are going for database operation, suppose in this case, we are inserting a record to the table from this work area or from the internal table. So in case of database operation, the number of columns in the table must match with the number of columns of the work area. For simple understanding, the structure of the table must match with the structure of the work area. Structure of database table must match with the structure of the internal table. If your table has 10 columns, it means your internal table or work area must have 10 columns. 
it should be one to one mapping one to one mapping same to same thing if your table has 100 column it means your work area or internal table must must have the 100 columns it is compulsory in case of database operation now in our current scenario we have how many columns in the database table six column including ma and dt we cannot exclude ma and dt at this point of time as we are going for database operation we are inserting the record to database table so whatever the work area or internal table we will declare it must have same to same column must have same to same column now you all know very very well whenever you want to declare a work area or internal table you how you are declaring firstly you are always creating a structure structure how you are creating a structure you are creating a structure through type statement or you are creating a structure through SC11 transaction code. You all know very, very well up to this level now, whenever we want an internal table or work area, the first thing we are creating a structure, structure type. Whenever you want a structure type, you can create a structure type through types statement or you can create a structure type through SC11 transaction code. You all know these are the two ways to create a structure type. Now, our database table has six column. It means our work area must have how many column? Six column. Okay, in our current requirement, we are going for single record insertion to database table. It means we will go for this particular syntax. We are going for single record insertion to database table. So we will go for this particular syntax. Our work, a, our table has how many columns? Six columns. It means our work area has how many columns? Six columns. If you want a work area of six columns, it means you require a structure type of how many column? Six column. Now, simple. Whenever you want to create a structure type of six column, what is one way? You can create through type statement. You can create through type statement. What is other way? You can create through SC11 transaction code. Now, I will simply write a statement and then I will go for full explanation. I am writing data name of the work area type name of the database table. Just simple, simple understanding. And this part is very much confusing, especially for the freshers. Why, why you use the name of the database table? Work area type database table. I will double click on to this database table. This table has how many columns? Six columns. It means this work area has how many columns? Six columns. This table, this table is this table is a collection of columns. Yes. Just simple, simple answer. Is table is a structure? Yes, yes. The answer is yes. Table is a collection of column. Structure is also a collection of column. Same. This table is a collection of column. Structure is also a collection of column. So every table is a structure. Every table is a structure. But is every structure is a table? No. No. Because table has data. Table has data. A structure does not have any data. So if someone asks you, is table is a structure? Yes, table is a structure. Why? Because table is also a collection of column, column. And yes, and structure is also a collection of column. So whenever I'm writing 
वर्क एरिया टाइप नेम ऑफ द टेबल इट मीन्स दिस वर्क एरिया इज ऑफ दिस टाइप दिस टेबल हैज हाउ मेनी कॉलम सिक्स कॉलम इट मीन्स दिस वर्क एरिया हैज हाउ मेनी कॉलम सिक्स कॉलम और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर अदर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट आर दस वेज टू क्रिएट ए स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन गो थ्रू टाइप्स और यू कैन गो थ्रू एस सी इलेवन हैव वी क्रिएटेड दिस टेबल यूजिंग एस सी इलेवन ट्रांजेक्शन कोड यस एवरी टेबल इज ए स्ट्रक्चर सो दिस इज एन अदर वे टू डिक्लेयर आई विल नॉट से अदर वे जस्ट इट से अंडरस्टैंडिंग सिंपल we are writing work area type name of the table every table is a structure so whatever the columns are in the table it means work area is of same to same type now if you do not want to go by this way you can create a structure through type statement it's your wish you can create a structure through type statement and you can take all these six column all these six column never forgot to take ma and dt it is compulsory compulsory because in case of database operation this work area must have same to same column as that of this database table so if you want to create a structure through types no problem it's totally your wish suppose if i will show you that way also you can go by that also begin of lty underscore data suppose if i will copy ma and dt type ma and dt now if i will go to second thing order number type data element of order number third column order date type data element of order date payment mode type data element of payment mode i will go to total amount type data element of total amount now i will go for currency type data element of currency so i created the structure using type statement also so i can go by this way also so rather than specifying the name of the table you can go by that also so you can go by this way also anyways there is no difference at all yes you are creating the structure through sc11 or you are creating the structure through type statement anyways this table we are creating through sc11 only and every table is a structure just it's a simple simple understanding because in case of database operation your internal table or work area whatever you are using to insert data to database table there should not be any mismatch same to same columns will be there so now i will just comment this part it's your wish how you want to go and i will go by this way so i declare the work area type name of the database table so what is the summary of the video in this video yes we put first radio button is equal to capital x and now we need to insert the data to database table we learned the syntax of insert database operation insert database table from work area if you are going for single record insertion if you want to insert multiple records the syntax is insert database table from table name of the internal table then we covered the most most important thing 
whenever you are going for database operation and whatever the internal table and work area you are using, it must have same to same column as that of database table. In our current program, current requirement, we are going for single record insertion. So we will use this particular syntax and how you can declare a work area. If I am simply writing work area type name of the table. So table is ultimately structure and this work area has how many column? Six column. Now in the next video, we will write the logic and we will insert a record to database table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.